Hey, what's up guys? This is the Netgear GS308 EPP, right? And I have this one for my access point. This has eight gigabit ports, all right? And they are powered 30 watts per port. So if you have CCTV or access point that needs power, you can use this one so that you're not going to have another kind of uh, a power source to that device okay so those are the use cases of these poe switches now let's get more into the details of this one it has a reset uh, pin here a uh, hole so that you can reset this one because you can configure this um, netgear switch that we have here it is a manageable you can configure vlans and power outputs all those kinds of things wherein i'm going to show it to you later on now at the back of this one we have some details like the default IP address that we can configure this one if you want to access the web interface of this which I'm going to show you later on. Now this is made of metal because of course it doesn't have a fan so the good news of not having a fan it, it's quiet and um, of course it's made of metal to absorb the heat and kind of cool the systems inside all right so that's just about this one let's try to uh, check the web interface later on now. Let's try to dive in how big this one actually right now so that you're not going to check the um, Specifications this is basically six inches a little bit more now the width is actually four inches Thickness is just around one inch. All right a small device that can can be used for home or small office kind of things especially that it's gigabit and PoE now of course this is powered by a 130 watts power supply okay a little bit thicker and longer than the switch basically this is uh, uh, nearly one and a half a little bit more one and a half inch then we have the length which is basically just around six and a half inch okay so let's go ahead and plug this one so that we can try and check what it can do all right so first I'm going to plug it to the computer so that you can see right Okay, so I'm going to plug this one to this computer um, so that um, we'll try to check. Okay, so I haven't connected it to the network. It's directly connected to my computer. I'll just plug in one of these ports. Since this is 192.168.0.239, I'll just go ahead and like, you know, set my IP address here as static as well, okay? Okay, since we have already connected the switch to our computer, I want to go ahead and check my IP address here. Right click on that network icon. If you are using Wi-Fi or LAN, you should be able to see it here. Just right click that adapter there. You will see network and internet settings. Click on that. And of course, don't, don't you mind your Wi-Fi because I have a Wi-Fi adapter and Ethernet adapter. Go ahead to your Ethernet adapter here. I'll just click that one and then you can see that my IP address is 192.168.0.2. That is basically set up before. So lucky for me, it's already set up. But for you, you need to check that one that you are in the network of the switch so that you can configure the switch that's zero, that something. Okay, so if you want to change the one, go ahead and edit this one. Probably you might be on DHCP, change it to manual, turn this one on. Then of course, set your IP address like for me, like... 192.168.0.2 okay as simple as that your subnet mass should be 255.255.255.0 then your gateway no need because we are just configuring the switch and then your dns no need just go ahead and save the one then basically that's it now the next thing you need to do is open up your browser um, type in the IP address that's written at the back of the switch 192.168.0.239 you go ahead and click the one then there you go device password okay so it says here if you're logging in the first time the password is at the back of the device which is password all right okay so that's good because we're in now the next thing it's going to do is just require you to change the password. So I'll just change it with something that I know. So the good thing about this is you have a visibility of your device, right? So that's the very good thing about this Netgear uh, GS308 EPP because you can see you can do quality of service. You can do VLAN, you have multicast. 
You have also have link aggregation. You can aggregate these ones. You can see POE here, all of the ports, um, how many power, what is there. Um, there you can see power limit 31.2 watts. Um, you have diagnostic, you have loop prevention if there's a loop in your network. So basically, um, port is statistics, and then we have port mirroring for uh, monitoring this uh, network, and then the settings. So as small as this one, you have this software that you can use to monitor, do more of the configuration of the switch. Now, I'm not going to configure this one because as of this moment, I don't require any configuration on my network because I basically have only two access points that's going to be connected here. Now, the concept of this one is I'm showing you what you can do with this switch, right? Let's go ahead and plug this one to my network because I have only two kind of uh, um, things that it's going to be done here. So I'll just close this one. Let's go ahead and plug this one there. So basically, I'm going to plug in my network here. Uh, I've been using this one before, as you know. So this basically powers one of my access point in the living room. So I'll just go ahead and plug this one. You can see here that uh, um, you can see this one green is one gigabit. So this is one gigabit. Both of these ports are running at one gigabit. Then yellow means that's 100 megabits. So there's no yellow. Then right LED means green. That is uh, POE. So the right one here means it's powering a POE access point that I have there. So this one indicates that one. Now, if you have a yellow one, that would be uh, POE at fault. So right light means POE. That green light on the left is gigabit uh, speed. So this one, which is coming from uh, this Starlink, the POE power is automatically disabled. And of course, because that doesn't need the power from the switch. Now, this one is a gigabit uh, link. There you go, guys. So that's all about this Netgear GS308 APP.